I currently have a DJI Phantom 2 Plus. And uh, I was having an issue with the gimbal being off center as so. So it wasn't in its level position. It was slightly cocked as so. Um, and it would not level out no matter how many calibrations I did or anything else. Uh, it stayed in that cocked position continuously. Um, so what I found was the following. So looking at the Phantom, I currently have it uh, kind of tilted down so I can look at the back of the gimbal. So the area we'll be focusing on is uh, three screws. This one here, this one, and this one. Um, what we need to do is remove those three screws. So it'd be a little easier if I had the uh, bracket that holds the camera on. They're a little tight to get off the first time. Um, once you get them off and out, this back cover comes off. Dang it. So gently remove the cover and it exposes a small circuit board. There's nothing um there's nothing else on this cover, it's just a cover. So that's the inside of it, and that's the back side of it. So it's just a small aluminum cover. So what we have here is the circuit board um, that controls the uh, gimbal uh, tilting side to side, and I believe also the top gimbal. But what I found is that um, this uh, silver piece has a flat area to it, so it's keyed so that this sensor can go only go in one way. So if we take a part, so if we look, we have a ribbon on the side here. Be very careful with these ribbons, they're very, very gentle. Um, so we take the ribbon off and we slowly pull apart, comes off in one piece. So there's another ribbon attached, I'm not going to remove that one. So what we have is this silver piece here. Um, if in the video you can tell that it moves back and forth. Um, that metal piece, when it's in its level position, should also be level um, with the camera. So it shouldn't be cocked to the right or left or anything of that nature, it should be level. Um, I don't know if you can see it. It looks like you can. So it should be level straight across. So we have the flat area right here. Um, that's the way it should be. Now, what's happening is when it's cocked to the left or right, what happens is you can actually hold that bar or um, protrusion and tilt it so that it won't be level when the camera is level. Sorry about the fumbling around here, this is not easy. Um, so the camera is level, but the angle is off quite a bit, about 45 degrees there. Now, uh, if I put the sensor back on, it's going to think level was here, so the camera would be cocked to the side because it's trying to bring this up to a certain degree so this uh, rod is flat. So all you need to do to correct the problem is to take the part like I did. It's relatively easy. Um, hold that metal rod with your fingers or a pair of pliers probably be even better. And then twist it back twist the camera back while holding it and basically a estimate with your eye when it's level. 
So it looks like I can go a little more. So I'm just going to hold it and turn it a little more. And just a tiny bit more. And that looks good. So it looks level again. So now I go ahead and make sure the flat area on the sensor here uh, is lined up with the rod. Put it back on. And then I put the uh, screws back in. And of course you want to make sure you put the uh, ribbon back in. Now on mine, I actually broke the clamp that holds this ribbon on on the inside. Um, now it still clamps in pretty uh, pretty tight so I'm not worried about it falling out and if it does fall out the camera kind of just just doesn't do what it's supposed to do. Now I'll go ahead and put the cover back on. Now the center screw on this is smaller than the other two on the bottom. So make sure that you put the screws back in the right places. So again, the screw in the middle is smaller, so it is the only one that can go in there. The others won't fit. But uh, it helps to use a magnetized screwdriver also. Just be gentle with it. Screw the middle one in first. Make sure they're tight. And then go ahead and put the other two back in. So now when I turn it on, we should have a nice level camera. And there we go. Maybe not perfect, but very, very close. I'm happy with that result.